All right, so not gonna lie, I started on this project a long while ago. See that? That's the old flooring. But this is a Ludwig Supra that I bought on eBay for rather cheap, and it's really pitted. So I thought I'll do something interesting and strip off the chrome to make it bare aluminum, but uh, it didn't really go how I was expecting, so we'll get more into that later. So as I'm tearing apart this drum, one question I get all the time is about removing air vents. So probably the quickest way to go about removing one is with a countersink bit and a drill. You basically just drill from the inside and that will cut away the flare of the vent and once that's gone, you can just pop out the air vent. And then from here, I just use some dental floss to remove the badge. So from here, I brought this into the garage and made the shell holding jig and started sanding and then basically never stopped. I tried all sorts of attachments for the angle grinder and different grits of sandpaper. And honestly, they all suck and it took forever to sand off the chrome. So if you want to do this and want to do it right, I would suggest just taking your drum to a chrome place where they can remove the chrome and then re-chrome it. But uh, I don't know, I didn't want to do that. So this is what the shell looks like about halfway through and looking back I think I should have stopped here and polished up the shell but I was dead set on completely stripping the shell to bare aluminum so I kept grinding away and honestly at this point I lost interest in the project so the shell has been sitting for a while. This is what it looks like so I think I'm just going to buff the crap out of the shell and see what it looks like.
So it sounds like a snare. I really don't know what else you would expect, but it definitely has some character now. Now, when it comes to design in general and like aesthetics and all that kind of stuff, I prefer things that are either like super clean and perfect looking or things that are the complete opposite and super worn and rustic and just old looking. So this definitely falls into that category. And I know I said earlier that this didn't really turn out how I was expecting, but after putting the hardware back on, it definitely has grown on me. I definitely won't do it again, and if I was to do it again, I would probably take it to the halfway point where you can still see the aluminum shell, the chrome plating, the nickel plating, and the copper plating, and possibly even do it in a way where it kind of resembles that sonar finish, which I think would be kind of sick, so if you want to see that, let me know. But this video was kind of short, so I'll leave you with the same playing demo, but with the solo drums. So as always, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.